everyone! I am here today to make a goat cheese appetizer recipe that I learned from my former colleague and friend. I think I've been making this recipe for probably upwards of a year now. She first made me this when I went over to her place after work one day. She cooked for me and she's an amazing cook. She made this absolutely delicious and easy goat cheese recipe and I've been making it on my channel for quite a while now. A few of you were wondering about it. Of course, all of the credit for this recipe belongs to my friend. I'm not sure where she got the recipe recipe but she passed it on to me. I make it for hubby and me all the time and I've also made it for friends and it is definitely a crowd pleaser. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need is some goat's cheese. I buy the plain one but I guess you could experiment with the other flavors as well. This is a large log so I basically cut it in half and I can make this recipe twice with the large log or if you want to buy one of the smaller logs you can do that and use the entire thing. This is about a hundred and 50 grams of goat cheese. The next thing you'll need is an onion. You can use pretty much any kind of onion, you just want to stay away from the sweet one. When my friend originally made me this recipe, she used red onion, but you can also use white onion. This is a huge one, so you'll probably only want to use half. Typically though, I just use these bagged onions because I have them on hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of these onions from the bag. This onion is around 175 grams, but once I cut off the ends and peel off the outer layers, I'll probably have around 150 grams of sliced onion. Next you'll need some cherry or grape tomatoes. My friend made me this recipe using cherry tomatoes, but I've used grape tomatoes with a lot of success as well. I just buy whatever happens to be on sale. You can use the small pints of cherry or grape tomatoes. That's enough for this recipe, but I've been trying to put more vegetable into our dishes, so I'm gonna be using half of this big container. Anywhere between 250 grams to 450 grams of cherry or grape tomatoes would be good for this recipe. This recipe calls for the use of some balsamic reduction. I buy the Nona Pia brand and I really like the Cabernet Merlot one. There are different flavors and each bottle is around $10. It does go on sale. It lasts a really long time now. We are towards the tail end but it doesn't go bad and um, it has a really nice flavor. You'll also need some salt to taste and a little bit of cooking oil. The first step is to spread the goat cheese onto a plate. Once you've squeezed out all of the goat cheese from the packaging, you can just go ahead and press it down into a thin layer covering the entire plate. If you want, you can use your fingers to do this. Once the goat cheese has been spread out into a thin layer, you can go ahead and set this aside. I've got a big pan on the stove here and I've just turned on the heat to medium. I'm gonna start heating the pan while I slice up the onions. I'm gonna add the cooking oil to the pan spread it around a little bit and add all of the sliced onion. I'm gonna keep the heat on medium. I don't want these to brown really. I just want to sweat them and soften them up a little bit. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt at this point. While the onions are sweating, I'm gonna go ahead and have the grape tomatoes. Here is what the onions look like. They're starting to soften up nicely. I'm just gonna add all of the cherry tomatoes into the pan. Just gonna give everything a quick mix and then you can just let this cook down on the stove for a few minutes. You want the tomatoes to be softened but you don't want them to really lose their shape all that much. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and then we'll be ready to plate everything. It's been about eight minutes and this looks perfect. Here is the plate with the goat cheese spread out on it. I'm just going to tip the contents of the pan right on top and spread the onions and tomato out in an even layer. Once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and drizzle on some of the balsamic glaze. We like quite a bit of this, but you may wanna stick with a little drizzle like that. We're gonna do a bit more. Here is the finished goat cheese appetizer. We typically serve this with some artisan crisps. This is the PC brand, but we've also had the Ace Bakery ones and also the Rain Coast ones. Tonight we're gonna be eating this with leftover baguettes because we have that from fondue last night, but this is typically our um, go-to combination. In terms of the PC crisps, this is our favorite flavor. This is the apricot and rosemary.
That is it for this goat cheese appetizer. If you end up trying it, please let me know down below how it worked out for you. Hope you enjoy and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.